Okay, polar bears, YouTube, starting temperature minus 9.7. Minus 9.7 Celsius. Right on. Hi, Trap. You should go in the house, dude. Starting kilometers 61,664.4. 61,664.4. Whew, and now I'm on my way to work after that polar bear dip. Let's get this. See ya, trap. Go in the house, dude. My kid doesn't even have a hat on. Minus 10 out. Wonder what his mother's doing. Come on, bad shit straight. There we go. Alright. Well, we had an hour and a half at home since the uh, polar bear dip excursion and now I gotta go to work. Ah, uh, this turned out to be. <laughs> it was worth it, but God damn it was a lot of it's a lot of work. Very little sleep. But I'm gonna get to work and cuddle up between a pair of boilers and get my bones warm because I'm chilled right to the bone today. I did spend about, I guess we were in Dover for a couple hours. After my polar bear swim, we had a decent lunch, and then uh, and then got ready and came back. So I had a chance to warm up between the rides, but uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I still got the chill. Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> What a way to welcome in 2013. Hopefully 13 will be my lucky year. I know everybody says that. 13's been my lucky number for a long time. It's been my race number for off and on for quite a while too. Depends who I'm racing with, what club. Whether I'll run the 13 or not. I ran 877 for a number of years too. That's where the crazy D877 kind of came from. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to get to work today. This is. <laughs> oh, shit. don't hit this light. This sucks. And of course I'm running kind of late because I stretched it out at home as long as I could. And you get the chill out. And I was reviewing a bit of the video from the ride and the dip. I noticed I, I dipped a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> I'm a chicken dipper. But, oh well. It took so damn long to get out to that, uh, out to the place we were going to dip, my feet were frozen by that. So, <laughs> I think that, uh, if we would have been there earlier when everybody else went and went out on the ice before it was broke, I wouldn't have been so frozen by the time I got out to the, where it was deep enough to actually go under. So, if I do it again, I'll, I'll do it a little differently. Spend a bit more time in the... under the water, I think. I also got the, uh, the excuse that my GoPro case has been... it's on its second set of latches. And since they don't make parts for my... for the SD anymore, I, uh... I'm running latches off the Hero 1, which are, they say they're identical, but they're a little bit skinnier in the hinge. So it, I, 
think that's why I'm getting so much uh, wind noise or crackly wind noise, I guess you could call it. Sorry guys, my balaclava is pissing me off again. My head's all over the place. I don't know what's going on up here. Oh, it's a snowplow. Woo, snowplow! GoPro probably picked up with lights. Ending mileage, 61,669.6. Ending mileage. Alright, I'm going in to cuddle with some boilers. Crazy D out.